Hey everyone, so today we are going to be doing a review of the Unity asset, uh, or really it's also an Unreal Engine asset, but we're going to be reviewing it on Unity. Um, it's an art asset by Cinti Studios, it is the Polygon Fantasy Kingdom asset. Um, this is a, one of their more expensive assets, $279. However, I would argue this is probably the best low polygon fantasy asset on the market. Um, and we'll dive into some of why that is later on. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's expensive, but uh, in my opinion, it's worth every penny. So let's dive into the... Uh, so I'm, I'm going to do a quick run through. I'm going to do a run through of the demo scene. They have three different demo scenes. I accidentally recorded a previous one with the externals only demo scene and scrapped that. So we're, we we have the right demo scene now. This is the one with the interiors. Um, and then we're going to dive into um, some of the modularization that Cinti Studios uses and then go from there. So I like using this character controller which I, I promise you I will, in fact, do. I know I said this last time, but I will do a review on it at some point. Um, just not right now. <laughs> but I like using this because it is a... Um, it, 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 it has a number of different modes, but they have a parkour, like, wall-running, free-running type mode. And when you're testing art assets for quality, that's really good because it allows you to... Um, to uh, really like test the colliders, test the you know functionality and the structure of the assets, and and you know see if there's there's any kind of glaring problems just right out of the box. And all I did was I, I dragged the default um, advanced version of the character controller into the scene and push play. So this is no modifications to the scene itself. This is no modifications to the character controller. This is just plug and play raw um you know input so and because there are interiors and i believe all of most if not all the buildings um you are going to see again because this is raw this isn't there's no modifications there's no scene optimization that i've done on my end um uh it's probably going to be a little jittery but just be aware of that so go inside of everything everything seems to be the correct scale um, you know as a level designer myself one of the things that bothers me to no end is when things are at incorrect scale um, now there's a whole there's all sorts of reasons I did notice that that does not have a collider on it um, so I can't actually jump up on that part but I should be able to jump up on that part so that one in particular but Adding a collider to that is really not going to be a big issue. Um, there are a couple other issues I noticed. I think this is one. No, there's one area where one of the stair, one of the stairs doesn't have a collider or something. But all in all, adding to uh, like adding colliders that sort of stuff is super super simple. So the environmental assets are great. Um, there's a lot of uh, what I refer to as level clutter. Um, so when you're doing level design, in order to make a level feel believable or lived in, you want stuff that you can populate it with so it just doesn't look, you know, sterile. Because if a level looks sterile, then it, then that suspension of disbelief is typically, you know, broken, right, in a game. So you want to have things you can populate with, uh, populate a level with that make it seem like it's a living, breathing world, and uh, that's something that I would argue um, one of the many things that this particular um, asset has, you know, done a very, very good job of. So there's all kinds of, so all of their, like I, I have every one of their assets and I will do reviews on all of them. Every one of them has a certain amount of nature uh, stuff in them, trees and rocks and stuff like that. Uh, they carried over some of the plants and we'll see us inside the castle some of the like farming plants from their farm um asset but uh where they started to add even more stuff is or where they add more level clutter is there's uh stuff like this like there's all kinds of battle um 
you know, battle carcasses and battle clutter. So dead animals and dead people over the place, uh, arrows with blood on them, spikes with blood on them, swords and weapons with blood on them, stuff like that. Uh, damaged flags, <laughs> disembodied arms, stuff like that. So um, you get a lot of that in here, a lot of that level clutter, which from a, um, again, from a level design standpoint, I, I absolutely love. That's, that's what, that to me is what, what really make what really takes a good art like a good art art asset package from good to great um so let's go in here you start to see there's you know full-blown towns or full dude you have the ability to make a full-blown town all of these buildings have interiors as you can see um i tried to run around and open up as many of the doors as i could uh so we'll have to do this here so yeah, I tried to open up as many of the doors as I could. Um, uh, that on, on things that do have interiors like this, like the ones that have X's don't actually have interiors on them. Those are, you know, quote unquote, optimized buildings. <laughs> um, uh, but as you can see, all the colliders, you know, they all, they're all working really well. Uh, there's not really anything that I'm falling through on. Uh, what's cool about this asset and, and really a lot of the stuff that like, like one of the things this like most of the Cinti Studios assets do really, really well is they hyper modularize their, their art assets. And I'll get into that. I don't think I can jump up there. I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, yeah, no, I'll, jump up there. Um, I'll get into that a little bit later in this review, uh, but it essentially allows you to have a small small a small prefab base that you can build really complex and unique levels from um, based off of that smaller prefab base so a lot of these buildings are actually just the same walls and windows and stuff uh, repurposed into different um, different uh, uh, forms per building so uh, and like I said we will like I'll, uh, we, we will explore that a little bit later on in a little more depth, but there's ton, like, you can see there's tons of chests, tons of crates, tons of sacks, just all kinds of stuff that again, like, like the level clutter is something that I really, you know, there's, that I really look for in a good art asset. If I'm going to be purchasing one and, and this one definitely did a, a phenomenal job of having that. Um, Cobblestones in here are done really well for the actual stairwells. Uh, we'll dive into the modularity of that a little bit later. Um, I think this one we can open up. I did not open up this one, I guess. No. Did we have a different entrance? No. Um, all right, well, either way, you can kind of see kind of see inside of there um so yeah uh all in all the 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 modularity of this asset was done very very well um there's lots of little stuff like this where booths and whatnot different again like book clutter scroll clutter food clutter um, let's go over here so I noticed that happened a couple of times when I was playing with it before too. There's like a it's like a collider glitch there, and I didn't really have a chance to dig into that um, too much. But the thing is, you know, I I um I've run into a couple of weird collider setups with their assets a couple of times in the past, and um, it's 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 fairly easy to rectify honestly so um yeah just the amount of jars and stuff and just again level clutter is just really really impressive um so uh oh, oh that's right. yeah. there's a variety of different beds right you know dead animals and meats and just all kinds of cool stuff to to really let your creative juices flow when it comes to the level design 
Um, so let's make our way up to the castle here. I may have forgotten to open that. I did forget. All right. I'm going to pause this real, real quick. Uh, do this. There I am. So let's just drag you out of the way there. And go back in. All right. So the interior of the castle, uh, oh, this is probably worth, so talking about modularity, this is a good example, and I'll, I'll break this down once we, um, once we get a little bit, like once I unplay this and we dive into the editor a little bit, but this, this stairwell, for example, and the ceiling piece, um, is exactly the same <laughs> as this stairwell the stairwells in this cistern or that external stairwell specifically in the cistern and that ceiling piece so uh, it just kind of shows the ability to again mix and match with the prefabs that they've given you um, uh, uh, and and really and really do some some creative stuff uh, with building jump up here with building, you know, unique set pieces with with a minimal amount of, uh, you know, building prefabs. Um, so we can completely wall run. This is again just all out of the box for this this art asset and this character controller. I didn't do anything, and you know, now that it's gone through, it's like post-process nonsense you know it's even running a lot smoother than it was before so um yeah i mean it's it's it is an impressive asset in my opinion yeah you pay a little bit more for it but uh um i think that it is uh i think that i think that it's worth it in in my opinion it is it is worth the price of admissions if I'm, no, we can't do that. It is worth the price of admission. Um, so, let's dive in here. Let's uh, hop into here first so you can see kind of what I was talking about. If I pull this guy away, you can see that that stairwell is, is exactly the same stairwell as this one is. And then if we go in look at this ceiling for example this particular cutout that is going to be exactly the same cutout as the, as this cutout is uh you know and they it goes even deeper than that so the cistern is probably not the best idea but this cistern stuff is also used in like the castles up here or the castle portions up here um, so you can tie all of these modulars, modularized assets together really, really well. Like this stairwell here is the same stairwell that's used in the internal of that cistern. Um, I think these walls are used elsewhere. So well, let's go down to the houses because this is where it starts to really get fun, I think. Uh, this is so they have ones without it, without uh, without interiors as well. Um, but let's let's just break this down. So they they have like every asset that they make is 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 pretty modularized in smart ways. So if we explode this out here, it allows you like the way that they've done this is it allows you to you know if you want to make this house twice as large, for example. Actually, let will just do this. So we'll just do this. So we'll drop this out. This is just very, very quick and dirty, obviously. I'm not going to spend too much time. Oh. No, that's right. I'm not going to spend too too much time on this here. So let's just try to duplicate that guy out. Let's drag him out and then let's shove. Let's 
shove this this guy back here. Uh, let's see which one is it. Drop him right back there, back there, and drop this ceiling piece out, or duplicate it out. And again, this is just a super, super quick and dirty example. What I could have also done was, oh, did I? Oh, that's right. But if we want to do this, it's really as simple as this. Obviously, that's going to be in the way, but again, super quick and dirty. I'm not going to, um, not going to lose too much sleep over this. So let's actually drag this guy back in here and just adjust this guy up here. Let's actually delete that out then and let's delete this guy out then. Him back in, drag actually delete him out. Again, I want to emphasize this is a super quick, super dirty uh, example of this, but it just illustrates the point that um, because of how they've modularized everything, making new and unique, uh, you know, buildings and level pieces and stuff from the from the pieces from the from the smaller amount of pieces that you have is relatively straightforward uh, so um, and, and and most things are modularized like this so as you saw before I accidentally selected the cobblestone right so there's a few different cobblestone sets that you can kind of screw around with but even then so these walls are really the same as uh, are the same as like these ones so this is ex Oh, actually, it's, okay, that's an optimized one. Find a better one here. Um, yeah, here we go. Same thing. Exactly the same thing. And all that they do is they just, like, all they do is they tweak the color of it. So it allows you to uh, really, really go hog wild with, um, you know, the amount of, uh, stuff that you can build uh, even the um, the fortifications here are the same pieces as you know parts of the castle are made from so again uh, it's it's a very um, it is a very good uh, good set for modularis modularization allowing you to make uh, really really unique uh, buildings and stuff um, so let's do this this should be the uh, all right, maybe I don't have that all right well let's talk about the prefabs then so well, about the layout that they have um, I find that they do a pretty decent job of uh, 
organization and I'm OCD as hell when it comes to not just the unity organization, but my notion boards and like everything. I, I'm very OCD about how I organize stuff. So their naming conventions across all the assets of theirs that I own are very, um, are very uniform. Uh, and they're the way that they have their actual prefabs folder set up is pretty uniform. If you open up one, uh, Cinti Studios asset, and then another one, you're, you're going to see a decent amount of, um, uh, similarities with how they, you know, organize stuff. So I think the organization is well done. The assets themselves are, are well optimized. Um, there's no real complaints there. So all in all, I think, uh, for a, um, uh, for a for two hundred seventy nine dollar asset, you get a lot <laughs> to work with, and and I do think that it is worth the price. Um, keep an eye out for my written review. Uh, I will have that linked in the bottom. And uh, if you do decide to buy this one, if you use the link in this video, it will help me because I'm part of the Uni Unity affiliate. Uh, Unity Asset Store affiliate program. So helps me and get a little bit of money back for uh, doing a review or for, you know, you purchasing it through the link. So it helps me continue to do these because I purchase all these on my own dime. I don't, I don't get free assets. Uh, I don't believe in, um, I very much don't believe in taking freebies from companies or entities or individuals to do reviews. So I pay for it all on my own. That helps a lot. And, um, if you do, if you do, uh, buy, buy it, let me know what you think. All right. Thanks. And I'll see you in the next one.